Today we have a 2004 Toyota Tundra with a 4.7 liter V8 engine. Today we are addressing a misfire issue with this engine. Cylinder number 5 will give a misfire when the driver accelerate or when apply a lot of throttle. Our misfire is coming from plug number 5. So we have 8 cylinder. Number 1 cylinder is on the driver side of the front engine. So this is cylinder number 1. 2 will be on the opposite side. This is 3. This is 5. This is 7. On the passenger side, we will have 2, 4, 6, and 8. That's over here. We got 2, 4, 6, 8. This ignition system is known as what we call a direct fire ignition system. It does not have distributor wire, distributor cap, rotors. This is simply a spark plug and the coil attaches to the spark plug. That's what makes it a direct fire. Now, during the event of a misfire, a lot of things can cause a misfire. One will be a fouled up spark plug. If a spark plug has been in the engine for more than 100,000 miles, the electrode could become worn out and you will have a lack of spark or weak spark, sometimes no spark. That's one issue in a misfire. The spark plug will bring upon you. Our second issue is if you have a bend valve, a valve seat, exhaust or intake valve seat, if they are bent, they will cause leak in the combustion chamber and will also cause a misfire. But that's not likely the problem here today. Another misfire can also come from our fuel injectors, these little fellas right here one injector per cylinder. If the injector fails to produce fuel into the cylinder, you will also have a misfire. So today, we're gonna start the truck up, we're gonna plug our scanner in, and we're gonna see what's going on, and we're gonna make our repair. When working on a fuel system, I highly recommend you go with one of these bulbs. This is known as what you call a fluorescent bulb. If it should break, it will not produce a fire in the gasoline. If you use an incandescent bulb, you will have problems because the filament is what will start your fire. So anytime you're doing mechanic or anything in the engine around fuel, always use these fluorescent light bulbs. Our vehicle has 35,541 miles. As you can see, we have a flashing check engine light. On most vehicle, when the check engine light flashes, it's to notify the technician and the driver of a misfire. Only a flashing check engine light will announce a misfire on the engine. So now let's see what cylinder we are having our misfire on. Now we're going to read our code. As you can see, we have two codes, and code number one is cylinder five misfire. 
Code number two is cylinder five misfire detected. So we have one problem, but two codes. As you can see, the flashing check engine light is still flashing. This means the misfire is present. Before, the misfire will only come on when the accelerator is pressed on the truck. So we're going to proceed and removing number five coil. This is one. That's three and that's five. So we're going to remove the coil, we're going to change the spark plug, and then we're going to recheck our computer to see if the code still exists. This is our new spark plugs. It is important that you match the spark plug with the spark plug that you remove from the engine, making sure your threads are the same and the length of the thread is the same. Very important. We also have a coil. This is a coil from Toyota. You can also buy from any aftermarket. And that is your part number for the ignition coil. All eight cylinders use the same ignition coil. So now we will proceed in removing our coil. First we have to remove the connector from the plug. You will press this little button in right here. Then by using a 10 millimeter wrench, you can remove the 10 millimeter bolt that holds the coil in position. Once we have our coil removed, Make sure this rubber seal is always under your coil. This rubber seal prevents moisture from getting down into the spark plug. If water, if the seal is not here and water should get on the engine, the water will get down into the spark plug hole and that will also cause a misfire if spark plug enter where the coil is inserted. So it's very important that you replace this seal when you put your new coil back. Sometime your new coil will come with this seal. We also have our 5.8 socket. Inside the 5.8 socket there's a, a rubber garment to hold the spark plug.
this is our new old spark plug as you can see with the 5.8 socket it's able to lift the spark plug from the cylinder head I wouldn't recommend using any other spark plug socket but a 5.8 spark plug socket because the socket has the ability to keep the plug in place in the socket so removal is made easy now this spark plug has basically had it so we're gonna replace our new one and remember to always match your spark plug up we're gonna place our spark plug in the socket and we're gonna use our finger to start the threads inside of the cylinder head Once our spark plug is snug, you will go another quarter turn, and that's it. Now we'll place our new coil. As you can see, we have our rubber seal. Place the 10 millimeter bolt to hold the coil to the valve cover. I would recommend tightening the bolt anyway to 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque. This is an aluminum valve cover. You do not want to exceed any torque limit or you will strip the treads. We'll replace our plug for the coil. Now we're going to check our vehicle for the codes. We will turn our key on, engine off. And we will proceed to clear the code from our previous diagnostic. Now we're going to start the vehicle up and see if our code still exists. So now we have fixed our misfire cylinder number five by replacing the ignition coil. We're also going to verify that the code has been fixed. We're going to read the code one more time. System found no DTC code.
codes. Now you can proceed in replacing all your spark plugs by removing the 10 millimeter nut, unplugging the coil, and removing the coil. This is our fix for today. Thank you.